Hello guys, in this video, we'll show you how to fix slow boot times in Windows 11 or 10. Before we start the video guys, if you have any computer or software related problem, please feel free to contact us by visiting our website and using the submit a problem button. And comment down below on our videos about your problem and we'll make a video for you to resolve it. Disable unnecessary startup programs. Many programs are set to start automatically when your computer starts up which may cause slow boot time issues. You may deactivate unwanted beginning processes using the task manager. To do this, open the task manager, press shift plus control plus escape simultaneously, or right click on taskbar and select task manager. Then go to the startup app. Then disable any programs that should not run automatically by right clicking on them and selecting disable. You can also try cleaning up your hard drive. A full hard disk with too many useless files might cause the boot process to slow down. To delete temporary files and other unnecessary junk, use Windows built-in disk cleanup utility. To do this, press the Windows key plus R to open the run dialog box. Type C-L-E-A-N-M-G-R and press enter. Select the drive you want to clean. Usually it is your C drive. Then click OK. Select the file types you want to clean and click OK to start the cleanup process. You can also optimize fast startup settings. This is another method to fix slow boot times in Windows 11 or 10. Windows has a fast startup tool that might help you reduce starting times. Remember only to disable programs that are not essential. To enable it, perform the following steps. Run the dialog box, press the Windows key plus R. Type powercfg.cpl and press enter. In the power options window, click choose what the power buttons do on the left panel. Click on change settings that are current unavailable. Scroll down and check the box next to turn on fast startup. Then click on save changes. You can also disable unnecessary services. Some background services running on your computer may be using resources and slowing down the startup process. To turn off unnecessary services to resolve slow boot time issue, you can follow the steps below. Press the Windows key plus R to open the run dialog box. Type services.msc and press enter. After that, check the services section and remove any services that are no longer required. After that, right click on a service, select properties and set the startup type to disabled if it is not necessary. Then click on the OK and apply buttons. You can also try updating your display drivers. If you are experiencing slow booting followed by a black screen, your PC's display drivers may be missing. Slow boot times might be the result of old or incompatible drivers. Download the most recent driver for your specific model from the manufacturer's website or the individual hardware components website, that is your graphic card or network adapter. Consider updating the display drivers by following the instructions below to resolve this. Press the Windows key plus R to open the run box. Type devmgmt.msc and click OK to open the device manager. In the device manager window, expand the display adapter section. It will list all the graphic drivers installed on your computer. Do the following for all of the drivers. Right click on the display driver and choose uninstall driver. Uncheck the delete the driver software for this device option in the pop-up if it is shows up. After that, go to the top menu in Device Manager and under the Actions tab, select Scan for hardware changes. The driver should appear back in the display adapters list. If it does not, then restart your PC and it will appear back. After that, right click on display driver again and now choose Update driver. Select Search automatically for drivers. Window will scan for available driver updates and download them. After that, restart your PC to apply the changes. If it didn't work, again right click on the display driver and choose update driver. But this time, select browse my computer for driver software. Then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. After that, select the driver you want to install. Generally, it is the pre-selected top option in the list. After that, click next. Restart your PC to apply the changes. If even that doesn't work, you can try going to a laptop or graphic card manufacturer Access official website and downloading the latest driver from there and then simply install the drivers and restart your PC apply the changes. 
You can also try upgrading your hardware. If you have done the above procedures and still have a poor startup times, you might want to think about improving your hardware, such as adding more RAM or switching to a faster storage device, that is SSD. In order to increase system performance, the latest laptops have an N NVMe SSD boot disk. It is an important consideration in every computer purchase choice. However, it is the time to update if you purchased a low-cost system with an HDD with an HDD as the boot disk. While SSDs may appear to be a costly upgrade, they may reduce boot time to a few seconds while optimizing application loading performance. Check for malware and viruses. Malware and viruses can cause system slowdowns. To check for slow boot time issues, conduct a complete computer scan using an authorized antivirus or anti-malware tool. Make sure your antivirus software is up to date. You can also perform a system file check. Windows has a program called System File Checker that may check faulty system files. Here's how to put it to use. Open Start, search for Command Prompt, right-click on the top result and select the Run as Administrator option. Type the following commands to perform a quick fix on your PC. Don't worry, we'll give the commands in the description box. The DISM and SFC commands are used for scanning your PC and automatically installing broken or missing Windows files on your PC. You can also check your hardware health. A slow hard drive can cause slow boot times. Use the built-in Windows tool called CHKDSK to scan and repair any errors on your hard drive. To do this, open command prompt as an administrator and type chk dsk slash f slash r and press enter. Then schedule a disk check for the next restart. Confirm and restart your computer. You can also update your windows. Ensure that your operating system is up to date. Windows updates often include bug fixes and stability improvements that can fix slow boot times in Windows 11 or 10. Open settings using window plus i hotkeys. Choose windows updates from the left panel. Then click on check for updates option. Wait until windows download all the available updates. Once done, reboot the system and check for the problem. You can also try resetting your windows. If none of the above steps fix low boot times in windows 11 or 10, you may consider resetting your windows installation or performing a clean reinstall. Before proceeding with this step, make sure you have backed up your important files and have a window installation media. It can be a DVD or USB, depending upon the availability. You can also disable Chrome apps running in the background. We can fix the issue of slow boot times by disabling the Chrome application running in the background when we start the system. To do this, open the Google Chrome application, click on the three vertical dots in the top right corner of the browser. From the menu, select Settings. Under the System section, toggle off the switch next to Continue running background apps when Google Chrome is closed. You can also try adjusting virtual memory. Adjusting the virtual memory settings in Windows can help improve overall system performance, including boot times. Here's how you can do it. Right click on the start button and select system. In the system window, click on advanced system settings. In the system properties window, go to advanced tab. Under the performance section, click on the settings button. In the performance option window, go to the advanced tab. Then, on the virtual memory section, click the change button. It's crucial to remember that the specific techniques and options may vary based on your version of Windows. But these basic recommendations should get you to fix slow boot times in Windows 11 or 10. So this was it for the video guys. We hope this video helped you solve your problem. If it did, then make sure that you give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. And if it did not, then don't worry. Just comment down below the issue and we'll try to figure out what is wrong with your specific case. Thank you for watching.